Hey there guys, Doobie Drooby here. We are trying to figure out what is going on with World of Warcraft Tides of Vengeance ever since 8.1 came out. So this is my updated frames per second and performance issue video. So if you're seeing, I'm getting up above 100 frames per second now, even in the crowd area, like that's a lot, which is pretty nice, especially considering I have all of my settings, ultra high, ultra high, pretty much all maxed out. So first thing, and this works whether you're on Windows 7, Windows 8.1, or Windows 8, you, know, you want to go full screen window, don't want to see another reason, mobile monitors and so forth, but with that said, whatever your resolution size, if your screen is 1920 by 1080, make sure that slider is 100%, a lot of people have been vlogging with it being 200%, which can really screw stuff up. I'm not going to go through all these individual settings, those are stuff you can hit recommended possibly get, but I don't even know if it's recommended and I'm getting over what they say. So, that being said, the biggest caveat I've seen, besides that slider being set to 200% when you first log in, are these couple other things under advance. I've been seeing a lot of people log in and having auto detect instead of their video card, especially if you have a laptop, for instance, that may have an Intel on board card. Auto detect is not working, you want to select your card. That works Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 8.1, Windows 10. Now, the biggest thing that I've gotten performance off of, besides disabling plugins, but once they've been updated, they've started working well, was updating to Windows 10, which is free if you have 7 or 8 or 8.1, because of Microsoft doing the accessibility features in there and not having them in the other OSs. You can download until January 16th, 2019 for free and upgrade. Um, with that being said, once you do that, you want to change that from 11 to 12. Once you change that to 12, it's going to say changing this option requires a client restart. You'll hit the apply, you'll do all that, and then it'll actually pop up saying again that it needs a full game restart. I went from around 50 frames per second to about like 70 frames per second just doing that without exiting. Once I fully exited the game, I said cancel in my case, I'm going to hit apply and you'll see everything re render. And then when you exit the game, reload it and you'll be hopping in probably at 100, 105, 110, about 20% better than what you probably had before, especially with this Windows 10 upgrade and switching DirectX 12. So I hope that worked out for you guys. Probably more info than the last one I had, but this will work out for World of Warcraft, Tides of Vengeance 8.1. Get ready for the battle for Azeroth. You might be able to world PvP without lag. So, woo, hope that helps you guys out. Please like, follow, and subscribe. And you can also see me on Twitch. I am Doobie Drooby, D-O-O-B-D-R-U-B. Thanks guys, have a good one, peace.